In the next few assignments, we're going to be working with a website called Jen's Kitchen. Uh, we're going to need to download and uh, upload at the same time, uh, well, one right after the other, some files to your existing website. So I'm assuming that most of you watching this video are probably working with a Google Chromebook. So let's get started. I'll click on Jen's Kitchen dot zip. It's a zip file. And uh, since I'm on a Chromebook, it's telling me it's going to download into my Google Drive. I'm already in my drive, and I had already created a folder called IMET 1416. We did it a few uh, assignments ago. I'm going to double click to make sure that this is where it's going to go, the download that is. Click on Save, and then Manage it uh, in the folder. I'm going to say Show in Folder. It's going to open up uh, Google Drive. And Google Drive tells me that I have an older file here, uh, uh, a logo that we used before, and the zip file that I just got. Now, there are programs, obviously, to uh, unzip files in Chromebook. Uh, I'm going to assume that you don't have one. If you're using a PC or a Mac, by all means, do un archive this and get the files out, and then you can work along with us. A, for the uh, easier way to get this without... Uh, installing a zip application i'm going to uh, double click on jen's kitchen zip and it shows me the contents including jen's kitchen i'll right click on jen's kitchen tell it to copy that so i made a copy of the folder that i need then since i know that i'm working outside of a folder called imet 1416 which i can see on the left side whatever your folder is make sure that you find it you click on it I see, again, the contents of the folder, including the zip file that I just opened. But I can right-click and paste in that same folder. And that way, I'll have my zip file that I just downloaded. Plus, I'll have Jen's Kitchen, the folder. I'll double-click. And here, there's two files, two HTML files, one called index, one about. Then there's an images folder that's got a couple of pictures. If I go back to Jen's Kitchen, I can open up the other folder. It's called Recipes. And it's got uh, three items. Two of them are two HTML files. And then there's another folder. Inside of that folder, there's two other web files. So now I have the contents of uh, Jen's Kitchen zipped, or rather unzipped, in the folders. And this is where it's going to get tricky, because now we need to upload this to our website. I'm going to open up a new tab and go to my GitHub page. Going to GitHub, I'm already logged in. Here's my repository. And I can either do a week six folder or unit six folder, whichever uh, uh, you're using. But to keep things simple for these assignments that follow that use Jen's Kitchen, we're going to be adding a file into your folder, your main folder. Tell it to create a new file. And we're going to call this one Jen's Kitchen. It's all lowercase, J-E-N-S-K-I-T-C-H-E-N, -E Jen's Kitchen, no spaces, no uppercase. Do not choose a different name. Then I can do a slash and create a new file called readme.md. This is just a blank file. I'll press enter to accept. I'll scroll, tell it to commit the new file, push the green button, and the result is, is that if I go to my repository, I'm at 1416, yours is going to be your username .github.io, then I have a folder called Jen's Kitchen. If I click on that, there's a readme.md file. It's blank. We will not use this. We might delete it later. We'll just leave it there because we will not be linking to it or opening it or anything like that. Unfortunately, GitHub does not allow us to just... Uh, get multiple files and folders to uh, upload all at once. So we're going to have to create the structure of the uh, of the uh, of the file manually. We know that we already created a folder called Jen's Kitchen. We're going to be creating another folder called Images, another one called Recipes. And inside of Recipes, there's going to be another folder called Pasta. So back to Jen's Kitchen, I told you that there's going to be two files in there about and uh, index. We can upload those pretty quickly. I'll click on, I'm inside of Jen's Kitchen, click on Add File and tell it to Upload Files, and I'll choose my files. 
the files to choose are going to be make sure that you're in the right place. I'm inside of IMED 1416, the folder where I downloaded inside of Jen's Kitchen. And there's index and about. If I click on one, it turns blue like that. If I press and hold the shift key, I can click on the other one. And both of them are selected. I will now click open. And both of these files, index and about, will be uploaded as soon as I click commit changes below. Now I have uploaded two files into uh, Jen's Kitchen. So I can travel to Jen's Kitchen right here. There's my folder. Now there's there's actually three files. We did create this readme.md that we're gonna be, we will not be using, but we do have index and about. I wish that we could just create a folder on its own, but we have to create these throwaway files. Don't worry about those. Worry about these index and about are there. We now need to uh, create another folder that's going to be called images that will have two files, genskitchen.gif and spoon.gif. So let's add file to, to create a new file. I'm already in Jen's Kitchen, so the new folder there is going to be called images. I-M-A-G-E-S. Images, no spaces, no uppercase. Slash to let it know that that was a directory. And then we're going to create a blank file called readme.md. We'll scroll below, tell it to commit this new file by clicking on the green button. Now we're inside the images folder that was created. There's this useless file called readme.md. Well, actually I lie, it's very useful because it helped us create the folder. I will now add a file to, to upload the files actually. And we know that we need those GIF files. So let's choose the files. I'm going to find my images folder, double click, and here's a spoon and then there's Jen's kitchen. I'm clicking shift as I'm clicking on both of them. I will click open and commit the changes below. I click the green button and the files are uploaded. It tells me that they're processing because it's figuring out what kind of files they are and what to do with them. I'll click in Jen's Kitchen, double check that my images folder has some files in there. It's got Jen's Kitchen.gif, readme.md, which we created, and spoon.gif. I'll go back to Jen's Kitchen where I still need to get uh, another folder in there called recipes and another folder called pasta. So to make this a little bit easier, I'm gonna start with the, with the outermost, which is gonna be pasta. That way we kill two birds with one stone. I will, I'm already in Jen's kitchen. I will add a file and create a new file. This file, is going to be the name, first of all, of the first folder, which is recipes. R-E-C-I-P-E-S, no uppercase, no spaces. Press space, or rather a uh, slash, tells it that was a directory. And now we're going to have another directory inside of that. It's going to be called pasta, P-A-S-T-A, -A, all lowercase, no spaces. I will do another slash so that it knows that that also was a directory. Here, we're going to have another file that doesn't do anything. It's called readme.md. If you want later, you can use these files to keep notes. I wouldn't worry too much about it just now. Just know that they're not totally useless. I'll click on commit new file. And now I have another folder called pasta, which is inside another folder called recipes, which is inside Jen's kitchen. I click back, work my way back to the top of the web page. You could have also just clicked on the repository and then Jen's Kitchen. But now we have another set of folders. We have pasta, which is inside of recipes. I'm going to click on the recipe slash pasta combination. It takes me directly to pasta. Pasta has two files. One's called couscous and the other one is called linguine. I know I'm inside of pasta because that's where the end of the trail ends. I will tell it to add a file by uploading the file. I will choose the files that are inside of Jen's Kitchen, inside of Recipes, inside of Pasta. Linguini, I click and select. I will press Shift and click on Couscous so they're both selected. 
I'll click on open, scroll below, commit the changes. It will process the files. It's uploading and determining file type, etc. I will click on Jen's Kitchen folder and recipes slash pasta. Inside of pasta, there is couscous.html, linguini.html. I click back on recipes. I'll see that pasta folder is there. I do not need to create another readme file because this folder already exists recipes. So I can add a file to it, maybe two. I will upload the files and uh, I will choose the files that are inside of pasta, which are, well, we've already got those actually. I need to click on recipes. We have the pasta directory, no need to worry about that. We need this tape and aid or tapinade. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. I probably am not. P press and hold the shift key, click on salmon. They're both selected and I'll click open. I'll scroll below. Here's commit changes. It will upload those. And now, hopefully, all of our files are uploaded and created. I have a about and index. I have two folders, one's called images and one called recipes. If I click on images, I have those two pictures, the uh, the logo of Jen's, Jen's Kitchen. I do have a spoon. Go back to Jen's Kitchen folder, click on recipes, and there's a salmon.html, a tapenade.html, and inside the pasta folder, there's couscous.html and linguini.html. Uh, we do have a whole bunch of readme.md files, which don't hurt. So as soon as all of these uh, are uploaded and created, uh, then we are ready to move on to the assignments.